Hi, this is Curtis Jackson with Jackson Strength, and today we're going to show you a squat variation that we use with a lot of our volleyball athletes and uh, pretty much all of our jumping athletes. And it's really designed to shift a lot of the emphasis off of the knees, which uh, can be a problem in a lot of jumping athletes, and really shift it into the glutes and the hamstrings, which are predominantly responsible for jumping uh, high, running fast, and doing a lot of athletic activities. So, um, one of the tools we use is actually these really inexpensive mini bands. You can buy them at, at Power Systems, and they're just a couple bucks uh, each one. The yellow one's the cheapest, it's the thinnest, which we're going to demonstrate with today. And it goes all the way up green, blue, red, and then black. And as you get stronger and uh, you feel like you're ready to step up, you can just move on up the ladder here. But yeah, like I said, about two bucks a pop. So we're going to have Brooke here, one of our collegiate volleyball players. She's going to do a demonstration for us. So she's just going to put the band right around her knees. Perfect. So we're going to go ahead and get like about a, a hip width to shoulder width stance. And traditionally we like to go a little bit wider, more like shoulder width. So we're going to have her go even a little bit wider than that. Good. Now we're going to do a couple from the front so you can see what it looks like from the front. So Brooke's going to do just an air squat with her hands out in front of her and she's just going to demonstrate what this looks like from the front with the knees pushing out against those bands. And what we're looking for is a nice vertical shin from the front here. So as you can see, we're almost straight up here and that's really nice. I know that the glutes on the outside here are working really hard. So with the glutes, typically people think just squatting backwards gets the glutes, but we're actually trying to work the glutes in three dimensions. So go ahead, come up. And, when, and the glutes actually wrap around and attach into the IT band on the outside. So when we get those knees pushed out, we're actually getting all parts, all fibers of the glutes, as uh, the glute max as well as we can also get some glute need in here as well. Those are also going to help support the knee joint. So a lot of people think that uh, strengthening the VMO, that's what's going to get rid of their jumper's knee. We actually take a different approach here and we actually work on the glutes a lot. So go ahead, we're going to have Brooke now face this way so you can see what it looks like from the other side. So what you, you want to focus on is really sitting back and now we've got a pretty vertical shin from this angle too. So go ahead, come up. Good. So I'm going to have Brooke actually get her ribs down a little bit more and she's going to kind of keep that neutral spine. Go ahead, push back. And you've got to see this nice line here. She's got her core controlled. She's not kinking her neck or her spine in any way. Good. Come up. Good. And now we can progress this. Once you've kind of got all these steps in place, we can progress it by adding weight and we can turn it into a goblet squat. So she's just going to do the exact same stuff she was doing before, but she's going to add that dumbbell to it. So even experienced athletes need to be cued back into neutral spine. So go ahead, come up. There you go. Okay. So we're going to go ahead, get those ribs down. Good. And come up. Good. So one reason we don't want that neck up as she's going, go ahead, demonstrate a bad one for us. Good. Up. Is now we've got a kink here, tightening up the neck muscles, which can often lead to shoulder problems as well. So go ahead, give that goblet squat or the air squat a uh, chance and uh, make sure to use the mini band so you can really get the most amount of glute max.